Hey, it's me again. I'm Baruch, and I'm here with Ryan. Hey guys, what's up? And um, today we want to talk about the new Ermac and the Warhawk. And uh, I guess um, Ryan knows better than me about this mech. <laughs> yeah, I play quite a lot, so uh, I'm experienced in it, I guess. So we're going to make a PvP game, and we're playing against these two players. So let's go in the game, guys. Get ready, Ryan. Alright, so uh, one of the first things I want to say about this mech is on uh, my loadout, I've got uh, the armadillo. And the reason for that is well, actually, what I would suggest is instead of having a uh, jackal in your blow it out, you should use an armadillo because you can carry three armadillos at once, you can only carry two jackals because the armadillo is actually lighter than the jackal. Yeah. Which I don't think very many people know that. Yeah, when yeah, I was playing the Neo, the, um, yeah. when I was playing the Neo, I noticed that. When I, uh, when I was playing the Neo, with the Neo, the Ermac, I noticed that I, I only can carry on. Um, Wow. Uh, two jackals instead of um, three armadillos. Yeah. I just died. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing about this Ermac that I really noticed since the beginning is that you are so slow in ground mode while shooting. As you can see right here, oh, I'm yeah. shooting and I'm so slow even on air mode I'm so slow looks like we got a bunch of uh, tanks coming at us mm. oops now this song, this mech is actually pretty strong with the uh, against ground especially tanks against tanks specifically yep And uh, when you're playing this mech, the first mech, or the first ability I always suggest to get is the one all the way on the left. It's called Spray Fire Ability, and it allows you to shoot the ground, as anyone who's played this mech knows. Yeah, well, once I get that fully upgraded, usually what I uh, upgrade after that is armor. Armor. And the reason for that is because um, the, the ability to shoot quicker or the low time of your shooting mm -hmm. is uh, it increases with each level anyways so that by the time I have three it's pretty fast startup anyways and a lot of time with my mech I'm right up against the enemy um, you know shooting down at him the entire time so it's best to have a lot of armor so I'm on level two now so Ryan said that he um he spent the his ability on the last one or first one spray fire ability so I'm going to do that and I can shoot from air to ground right here, like that kind of cool yeah and see right now we're, we can kill these tanks or that uh, money maker and we're just, we won't even get hit there you go other than the air max. So um, Ryan, you might um, like to take it easy because I need we need to like, get to level seven, I guess. Uh, okay. Well. For more abilities. You want to? Yeah. So I'm on level three, and he say that he spent his ability on armor, so it's this one. And there is another one about the. It says reduce the time it takes for your Warhub make cannon to spin up and being um firing. So it kind of um, moves faster when you um choose that ability.
But Ryan, do you recommend this on Hermec for new players? Um, yeah, I guess if you want to use it and you're new, but um, I would really start out with the uh, sticker because it's all around, you know, rounded. It's got good speed. This one's really slow while firing, so um, it's hard to get used to that. Mm-hmm. And you see right now, we're just kind of goofing around at their base, killing their stuff as they're making it. <laughs> Which isn't something I would necessarily recommend, but uh, <laughs> that's what we're doing, just because we're showing off the air max and stuff. So now you guys know that this army is kind of slow in ground mode and air mode. Something you want to add? Um, no, but I'm gonna start uh, dropping the uh, armor drills around their base by picking them up and just dropping them. Yeah. Because it's armadillo, you can drop three at a time, so it's really nice. Rather than jackals. So one thing about this Hermeg is that I don't recommend a pilot that it's slow. Yes, um, I agree with that. There are like two pilots that are so slow, so I don't recommend those. Um, I recommend that the ones that have um attack power, uh, full efficiency, and uh, something that it's not that slow. Yeah, make a or um. Maybe it's yeah, it's good. Yeah. Now the strategies that we're going to show. Oh, I I guess uh, they work with every air mech. Right, Ryan? Yeah, actually, um, <laughs> most strategies in this game work with any air, any air mech that you can use, but each one has a little particular feel that they're best with. Um, like, the Osprey can heal, so I mean, that can be useful while protecting your base and things like that. But this is also good at protecting bases because uh, you can drop units down while shooting the enemy at the same time. Mm -hmm. And also shoot these infantry while you're kind of just floating here above the base. So I'm just making bombs to finish this map match. So that's pretty much about the new air mech. We are going to do every um, 
Ermac, um, I think the next the next one is going to be the striker. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to know, um, to watch the strategies and tutorials, just um subscribe to the channel to stay up. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see you again another time. Have Bye. an awesome life. See you <laughs> later.